official invite. The NASA Morning Madhouse is on 90.3 WHPC. Uh, we're going to talk about the first uh, story that I talked about in the last uh, talk break about the Japanese six-year-old becoming the world's youngest club DJ. Hi. Oh, I think I man. saw a video of her and it's going him, viral. It? Let's see. That. Uh, what was that? It was a boy. Uh, oh, musically. No. T- well, I saw one of a girl, too, who looked just like... <laughs> Dude looks like a lady. Roll credits! Roll credits! Right. <laughs> All right. A musically talented six-year-old boy from Japan has become the world's youngest club DJ. Itsuki Morita had become the Guinness World Record for youngest club DJ after performing a set at El Restaurant in a bar in Osaka. Uh, Osaka, I think it is. Osaka, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I was really happy that I could DJ. Everyone says it's great, Itsuki said after achieving the record. He set the record by performing in front of a crowd of adults and other children for more than an hour at just six years and 114 days old. Wow. I, I feel like that second thing was uh, a little... Uh, Too much. Just like telling yeah. your yeah. three-year-old, oh yeah, he's 24 months. <laughs> Wait, my, he's two. My, <laughs> I, I once heard, I used to work at, uh, I used to work at ShopRite over, uh-huh. in, uh, over in like all the, the little Greenfield yeah. ShopRite satellites that they have. I was a security guard. Mm-hmm. I once overheard a conversation with somebody calling their child 36 months old. Oh. No, I was no, like, are no, you no, out of no, your no, mind? No, you are three. <laughs> Take that kid out the this store. This child is a toddler. Stop denying yourself. <laughs> you walk. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the most what? irritating thing I've ever heard in my life. That's crazy. Now, how old is this DJ again? Uh, six. Wow. So that would mm. be, uh, let's see, how many months? I never accomplished 72. anything until I was right? 12. What was, the be- what was the best thing you guys did in, uh, when you were six? Um, stop wetting the bed. Uh, oh, <laughs> it took you till six? <laughs> <laughs> it took a little longer. It just, it just, it just had its good dry spell for that. <laughs> a dry spell, literally. Go figure. Wow. Um, I don't even know, but I'm telling you, at six, that kid gives new meaning to popping bottles. So. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd say gymnastics. That was my oh. big thing. Gymnastics and dance. Yeah. Uh, nice. Dance for 15 years I, and gymnastics for a few. I think oh. I I think I got you all beat on this one. Oh, no. uh, when I was six, I became a human battering ram and I put my head through a door. <laughs> yeah, my brother does that. <laughs> <laughs> and that was your accomplishment. Okay. <laughs> Your parents did well. Oh, they, you know what? Looking back on that, it explains a lot about you, right? <laughs> uh, was he dropped the child? No, he just rammed his head through a uh, Oh, man. Wow. That is incredible. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to explain the CPS. The <laughs> right? <laughs> So now God. the story of the hour is Zach Efron and The Rock make out, and Zach Efron describes the experience. So he was on the Late Late Show with James Corden on Friday to promote Baywatch, uh, which stars him and The Rock. And uh, there was a scene in the movie where they had to make out underwater. First of all, the the Baywatch movie did not do well critically. Oh, surprising! I, I thought it would really do was well. that surprised you? Like no, not a, it didn't I'm surprise. Teasing. It got a nineteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes from oh. the critics. Wow, yeah. that's it's bad. Mm. That is totally but atrocious. on the scene, ooh la la. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's probably Stevie, what baby. most people went there for. Right, right. it's just like <laughs> the rug and the Zac Efron. You like, just, you trust me, up. if you want to see that, there's more of that yeah, stuff you online. Up. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christina. I want to get back to that laptop story, because I think she wants to marry her laptop. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> you and wow. your hand tonight, huh? Right? Oh, oh my God. Uh, well, we, we expended the rock is cooking joke already. So yeah, right? We Jeez. did that. Oh, I should have saved it. Oh, God. So are, they a couple? are they a couple now? I uh, mean, well, we'll find. I don't know. I didn't uh, see the movie yet, mm-hmm. but I, I would pay $13.50 to see them make out you out of your mind. Okay. So, Zach Efron uh, describes the experience. He tasted like a Winter Fresh commercial. Uh, oh. Tasted, tasted like cherry chapstick, and apparently, according to Zac Efron, uh, The Rock is a very good kisser. No. Can we call uh, it like a Katy uh, Perry? Like Katy Perry. I, I was just thinking Katie that. Katy Perry, like he licked off my chopstick, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Chopstick? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> and then, apparently, Zac is like, yeah, 
He's the best at everything. And then it's oh. zoom, slow zoom on his face. Wow. I hope that uh, was this nobody gets drop- enough money for it to be worth it. <laughs> right. Yes. Like, you dropped the soap and now you're just picking oh, it up. And it's just, ow. Yeah, I'm, that's exactly what it sounded like that happened. It'd be weirder if Zach got the top, but we won't go that way. <laughs> right? You expect the rocks to take control and all that... Mm. <laughs> this show will actually make you want to sign up for those early morning classes. You won't want to miss a moment of the NASA Morning Madhouse. 90.3 WHPC. All right, so a disgruntled former 7 Eleven owner has opened a convenience store across the street. The best name in the world for a competing convenience store. 612. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. There's a guy in South Boston named Abu Musa, and he uh, he used to be a... What's his seven- name again? Abu Musa. Love it. Sounds like a lion king. It does. Simba. Mariwa. He used to be a 7-Eleven franchise owner, but he wound up having a fallout with the parent company, specifically because they forced him to sell hot foods, like the hot dogs and the there's ketos and pizza and chicken wings. It's the only now, reason to go to Seven Eleven. Are you really? You're you're a fan of the hot food? Over of there? course, I go I, for it. I could. I with could a diet mess, coke. Mm. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Big gulp. Uh, uh, super yes, gulp. Yes, super gulp. Super gulp. Yes. I could. I could uh, mess with a uh, a pizza. Uh, Pizza's okay. You, it pizza. depends on the time. They got to just take it out of the oven. No, oh, yeah. just got to get they me a like. Just take it out of the oven, and I got to be just drunk enough. Correct. Where I don't care what goes into my body anymore. Rudy just sitting there waiting for. I knew it. That's a whole. Another show. Let's not talk oh, about that. We talked about Zach and the Rock. That I is mean, go Colt. Absolutely, <laughs> go Colt. <laughs> no, I don't. Just chef don't judge. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I'm never getting a contract for this. <laughs> Someone said no. <laughs> oh man, okay, that's incredible. So what happened? So they okay. made him sell hot food. And yeah, what? they made him sell hot food, and he was upset about that because they just sit on the rollers and they'd have to throw them out every day, and it'd be like two hundred to three hundred dollars worth oh. of food that he had to pay for. Okay. So the company tried to force him to sell all that stuff, but and he gave up in 2014. Okay. So after a legal battle, he obviously lost his store. Yeah. Okay. So he's getting his sweet revenge. The store now is under new ownership, but across the street he opened his new convenience store named 612. <laughs> <laughs> Those are his hours, but clearly similar to 7-Eleven, mm-hmm. making a declaration of war. Okay. So, but no hot food. No, no okay. hot food. No hot food. He says more than half of his customers are going to go to the store, and um, or they're going to his store, oh. and he's got a great strategy for getting more. I know the price, and this is a quote from him, I know the price of everything in that 7-Eleven, so I sell the same things just a little bit cheaper Ooh. and no hot food. Oh, I love you, it. <laughs> you know oh, he's going to be taking right? those customers oh, right under the hands. Like, completely. Oh, sweet, sweet victory. <laughs> right? Not, uh, he's committed to his revenge. I just oh, love that. Not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> Listen, oh, but if, good not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> but also, not all stores sell uh, deliciously cheap pizza. Correct. So, you know what? I, I'll buy other stuff at 612 and then pop yeah. over for some And pizza. there are no hot heroes at 612. There are no hot heroes. No. <laughs> Oh my god, those are ridiculous. Yes. So what is your favorite things to get at like uh 7-Eleven or stuff like that? Raquel? I love like those little tornadoes. Those are good. Especially when you're coming from a drunken night. But they <laughs> can't be on the roller too long because then they're too crispy and crunchy. Yeah. No, I, I love the burnt like crunchiness. Oh, I don't know about okay. you, but right. I like that. There you go. <laughs> Christina? I, um one thing I don't know if I can say on here because my parents are probably listening. Uh-oh. The other thing. Oh, caution to the wind. The other thing are the the slushies. That I, I, I don't get. I don't really get anything at Seven Eleven. Your parents would be upset that you get slushies. Oh no! Another thing. Oh, I know what you're talking about. But the party it's- pack. Uh- <laughs> I think no. oh I think we got it I think we're fine no we got it <laughs> oh, we just, we just yeah. sorry I need a minute okay right. I'm with you gotcha it's okay. Okay. early in the morning it's okay catch me call us later Mr. Someone, Freeport uh, we'll tell you someone cue careless whisper up please uh, <laughs> <laughs> I took a minute to get that I love oh, that that <laughs> all right hold on to your microphone wait that's our job we'll get it right one day it's the nassau morning madhouse on the voice of nassau community college 90.3 whpc